Welcome back to Mastermind Gameplay. If you haven't been here before, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the action. Today we're going to look over a few hybrid vehicles. Are these spaceships? Are these rovers? Or are they much more? Behind me is a little green machine, our RV, and we'll just take a look around it. There are a few modifications I've made to this thing over time. I've added a few Gatling turrets. They all have the flat style atmospheric propulsion. And everything else is pretty standard in here. Altogether, it's a pretty sweet ride that gets us on the Earth or even into space. And of course, it's kind of a replica from the movie Spaceballs. If you haven't seen it, try to check it out sometime. This is our little green machine. The unique thing about this rover is not only can you get it to space and on and off multiple planets, it also has a jump drive on the inside. I simply put in an LCD screen indicating a jump drive so I don't have to tear down the wall in order to view it. There are also a ton of these gyros. This is all powered by hydrogen energy or hydrogen power and atmospheric thrusters. Auto door. Hmm. Yep. And this is my Mantis. This is a more recent build. It has a rocket launcher and two missile launchers on the top of it. This is a large scale, but it can do the same thing. It definitely gets into places that you want to be. Unfortunately, I have not tried to take it to space yet. It's only powered by atmospheric thrusters. However, it does have a very sleek design and can be used on any planet or moon that has an atmosphere. It is hydrogen powered and the top is complete glass. We take a stroll in here. You can see we have two big gyros on the side to keep us level. Two hydrogen powered generators and a nice view of the outside. Not too shabby. Not only is this thing capable of flying and driving, it can also be considered a drone because it does have a drone remote controller on it, a small antenna. I'm still working on the flight move and the basic recorder. All in all, it's actually a pretty easy build and perfect for rough terrain. Lastly is our land shark. The land shark is equipped with two rail guns and can also fly. But this thing isn't limited just to the Earth-like planet. It too can get into space. It is powered by a hydrogen generator like the other ones. And it has multiple thrusters on the back and the front. With this unique sleek design, it still gets over most terrain regardless. Here I've set up an easy build section. This is what we're going to use later on. It's a small build platform and we've converted this to be able to build with small blocks, recharge ourselves, and is powered by a windmill. This device here is to pick up your ship in case you need to work on the bottom of it. There's nothing more annoying than having a rover on the bottom you can't work on. Well, that's about it. In the next video, we'll go over how to actually start designing your first hybrid rover. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you leave your tips and tricks in the comment section below. I appreciate it.